today's video, I got a woman who leaves the good guy and regrets it. All right, Let, let's watch. While a man is talking, you have to just give them, because mm -hmm. that's what men do in conversation. With each they other. just, with each other, they do the grunt and nod. But women will interject constantly. And it's okay, it's easy for them to do that because they're multi tracking. They can keep track of the whole conversation. But when you interject with a man, even if you're encouraging them or agreeing with them, it gets very confusing with them and they stop and they kind of look at you like, shut the f up. It's yeah, because we needed to shut up and listen. Stop talking while I'm trying to talk. You're not truly listening, right? <laughs> you know, when, when men are talking to each other and actually, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, we're actually listening, right? <laughs> we're truly listening. So it's not the same thing as you just par passively saying, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you have to truly be listening, trying to pull points out of that conversation, right? Do it right. Like you really have to just be like, mm hmm do you hear me yelling? This is yelling! Have I done that yet? Okay, you're using a stunned voice. And are you, are you defining me? No, I am not defining you. Is she you. defining me? Does she say I'm yelling when I'm not? Yes. Perception is everything. Right. Do you feel like I'm yelling at you? Yes. Yes, why? Because you're using a stern voice. A stern Honey, it isn't my fault you're stupid. Would you like me now, to go get my paper and pencil? I wouldn't like you in any way, shape, or form. Okay, then that's fine. Let's, let's get that understood okay. here. This isn't a matter of whether I like you or not. Repeat after me. One hand. One hand. One hand. Two. Okay, so <laughs> what happened here is that the, the, the teacher asked the student why they didn't have a paper and a pencil to take notes, right? And she's justifying that she would remember everything that the teacher is saying so the teacher is basically putting her on the spot to prove that she needs to have paper and a pencil not hand hen 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 lay eight eggs one hen one hen one hen two ducks one hen two ducks one hen two ducks three squawking geese one hen two ducks three squawking geese one hen two ducks three squawking geese four limerick oysters one hen, two ducks, three squawking geese, four hemorrhic oysters. Hemorrhic oysters? I'm sorry. Limerick oysters. Limerick oysters. One hen, two ducks, three squawking geese, four limerick oysters, five corpulent porpoises. What? You can remember everything, honey. No, this I isn't can't. hard for you. Go for it. One hen, two ducks, <coughs> three squawking geese, four limerick oysters, five... I forget the other one. Do you wish you had a paper and pencil? No. Do you think you're going to need one if I keep testing you on that? Yes. <clears throat> then are you going to wish you had a paper and pencil? Yes. Yes. So in the future, what are you going to do when you go to a learning situation? Bring a paper and pencil. And keep it with? Me. You. Did you learn anything? Yes. Do you appreciate what you just learned? Yes. Did you like the way it was taught? No. No. Any of the rest of you ever taught in that fashion? Yes. Yeah. Yes. And did you have to express appreciation for it? Yeah. yeah. Could you learn something from her example? Hey, this is why mothers and fathers are needed in homes, right? <laughs> because fathers would talk to their kids like that, right? Trying to, they're more tougher with kids than the, than the mothers. And it's not so much of the, the pity and trying to cuddle the kids. Okay. I'm, I want you to learn a lesson from this and the fathers usually speak in a, in a stern way with their kids while the mother nurtures that kid. But it's, this is a perfect example of why fathers are essential in, in, in homes. What are you crying about? Sorry. What are you crying about? My feelings were hurt. How were your feelings hurt? Just weird. Should I feel sorry for her? I don't expect you to. Should I feel sorry for her? Some of you are thinking, oh, this is too harsh for this young woman. James Byrd, black man in Texas, mm. dragged to death behind a pickup truck mm. by three white males. They're worse, Matthew worse Shepherd, things. Matthew Shepard, young man about <laughs> your little, old, your little younger than you are, had the misfortune to be born gay. 
beaten, beaten with a pistol about the head until they cracked his skull. And then they hung him on a deer fence wow. and left him there overnight and somebody coming along on a bicycle the next day saw a bunch of clothing hanging on this deer fence and they went over and started to take the clothing off the deer fence and found a body in the clothing i'm sorry mm. but those things happen because we live in a society in which people are allowed to treat those who are different in an ugly way because of their differentness i cannot shed tears for a young white female in this exercise who knows that this is an exercise, who knows that it's temporary, mm. who knows that she's getting a college credit, one hour of credit for being here. I'm sorry. I have to save my sympathy and my empathy for those who go through something much worse than this every day of their lives. Tears were coming in my eyes, and when I saw these people crying, I'm like, but it wasn't for them, it was for the fact that I know people who are going through that right now while we were sitting in that classroom and had the privilege and the time the opportunity to be going through an experiment that there are people outside who go through that 10 times worse than any student of color in that room married for 10 years damn man I, I don't know about you guys man but that that was a powerful video for me to to see I just took it back a little bit um because I I, I I paused it as soon as it was about to play into the next video but that's a powerful video there's so many different parts to that video that i could spend an hour just talking about that video i could spend an hour talking about it but you know the the fact is is that yes there are worst there are people in worst situation there are people around the world that are going through way more difficult times than than we do especially in the western western countries <laughs> yeah in the western countries we we have more depressions anxieties we have more mental illnesses a lot of it are self-induced a lot of it are things that we can control a lot of it is, is things that are portrayed in the media that influences the thinking of, of other people. A lot of it is being coddled too much, <laughs> right? Thinking that people have to be wrapped in cotton. People have to be placed in a bubble to protect them. When in reality, exposure to some things helps us mentally to be stronger emotionally to be stronger and it helps you find solutions to a lot of problems but because a lot of people a lot of us have been cuddled and protected over prote overly protected we don't know how to get ourselves out of situations that we are in right so hey we can we can talk about this video forever but you know an, another point that i wanted to say is that just because there are worse pe worse the people in worse situations than than us doesn't mean that our problems aren't real either it doesn't mean that our problems don't matter it, it's less in in relation to the, the the problems of those other people that are in that are in worse situations but the fact is you're still going through something right so it's just we it's just recognizing what it is that we are going through and then devising ways for us to get ourselves out of those situation in one piece with the right frame of mind with the with the same emotional or, or better um stability right so that we are not affected emotionally mentally but this is this is a tight rope to walk on right it is really a tight rope to walk on in in today's world how do you administer the right amount of discipline to to somebody 
so that they get the point so that they they learn right so that they they they, they learn a lesson from you you don't want to overly do it and you don't want to do less of it you want to do it at the right amount right sometimes teaching someone that your lesson just means just <laughs> could mean this could mean being stern like this or it could mean you know you teach them a lesson in a, in a different way maybe you're teaching them a lesson but you're you're giving them comfort at the same time giving them a hug right and after you've wiped their tears off you say that was that was not a smart thing to do but you could also do it this way right depends on the teacher that is trying to pass that information to the student or the, or the other person right anyways let's keep going to the main event that we are um that this video is entitled or woman leaves the good guy let's split the clip married for 10 years i got married young i was 21 barely like three days 21 um already had a baby he was eight weeks old at our wedding wait, wait, wait. <laughs> yeah the baby was eight weeks old at the wedding was the baby the groom's baby Right? I want to know. I want to know, but I don't know how to how to find that answer. But twenty one is young. It's not that young, right? Twenty one is a in a lot of places. Twenty one is a grown ish woman who can make decisions. I mean, at twenty one, you can walk into bars in most places and order alcohol. <laughs> so they trust you enough that. At 21, you're supposed to be able to make certain decisions. Your 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 thinking faculties are, are are more developed than you know previously, right? So 21 is is isn't as young as these people are making it out to, to seem, right? You, at 21, you're supposed to be a little bit smarter than 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 these people making stupid decisions. Um, already had a baby. He was eight weeks old at our wedding. And I remember feeling like my marriage was temporary from the beginning. Hmm. Like that I wasn't gonna make it. Wow. And I didn't know what that feeling was. I just thought it was. What? <laughs> so let me get this straight. She was married for 10 years, strung this man along for 10 years, had children with this man, and knew from the beginning that she didn't want to marry him. Yeah, that's Marriage what she is said. forever, and it's not <laughs> temporary, and age is not an excuse. I, li I, like, I, like, I like this lady's viewpoint, but I don't like when the people like tap on the table when they speak. That's the only thing. It's in my opinion. I like this one. But there's more to the story, so continue. Fighting for me, I was pushing him away. Um, but I, I never truly accepted happiness. I left the good guy. Mm. He looks at and is like, that's a dad. That's a husband. That's how it's supposed to be. He did the dishes. He cleaned the house he took the kids to school yeah. he worked all day he made good money he supported us that's not enough um, i mean yeah we had our problems but he was the good guy and and, and what's wrong with the good guy <laughs> what's what's wrong with the good guy what's wrong with being a good guy being a dad a good father to their to their kids doing the dishes helping her around the house Helping her emotionally, helping her uh, financially. What's wrong with doing all? What's wrong with all of that? What's wrong with that? Why is that a bad thing? When it, it, why is that not enough for the modern woman? Why is it that modern women have to be so selfish to think only about themselves? Why? Uh, back in the day, that was that was enough. For, for the women in, in the past they, they they wanted a good guy but the modern women 
nah, they don't want a, a, a good guy. They, they want to be, they want a toxic guy. <laughs> they want the guy that's going to abuse them, take advantage of them, treat them like they don't matter. That's that's what the modern woman wants, because excitement is more important than stability. Excitement is is more than more than is more is valued more than the relationship, than a stable stable home for you and your kids. I don't understand. So I'm here to tell you. <laughs> Tell it's us. okay to leave the good guy. And Why? she says something about finding happiness and not being happy, but she doesn't realize is that a man isn't the one that's going to make you happy. You have to make yourself happy. So she Facts. should have done a lot of self-work within the relationship because you can be in a relationship while simultaneously working on yourself. And because she got married at 21, I'm sure she missed out on her hoe phase and now she's gonna be 31 <laughs> as a single mom yeah. out having fun because she missed out on it as she, if she, she's that's gonna, gonna go be backwards. acceptable going into her 40s. Yeah, and, and that's why I think men, you know, we, we hear all, all these gurus talking about focus on your purpose, right? Work on yourself as, as a man. Because if you focus on the women in, in the beginning of your life, it's a hindrance, right? Because the more you establish yourself in, in today's society, you have more options in, later on. And, and believe me when I say women, that doesn't work in your favor either, right? <laughs> that working, focusing on your career for as a, as a woman does not work in your favor later on in life. It works in the favor of the man trying to establish it himself because it's obvious women want men that are established that have something going for themselves financially right they want to see that you are building something or you've built something and they want to they want to wait at the finish line and and get picked as a as a trophy right <laughs> but a lot of women don't want to build with you. So that's why I I, I, am, I I agree with that. That a man should focus on building something in the beginning part of their years. Right? Work hard. Build something. Right? Because your family in the future are going to depend on you. Right? But when you focus on trying to make a woman happy, there is a chance that her happiness doesn't depend on anything that you do even if, even when you're doing the right things when you're doing everything perfectly she's still unhappy she has something that she's going to complain about because she hasn't figured out that her happiness doesn't depend on you entirely she has to do certain things mentally and emotionally stay balanced in order to be happy right and that's that's a hard that's a hard thing for a lot of women to to understand because as emotional beings most women will look outward uh, outwards for sustenance for things that will make them happy almost like they need to be triggered right they need to be triggered all the time that's that's what women go through and I'm not knocking that. I'm not knocking women for this. This is just biology. It's just the way it is. Right? And and as men, it's not us against them. It's and uh, women, it's not you guys against men because it's about everything is biology. Like if you understand how a woman work, how a man works, right? The things that makes a man a man and then the things that makes a woman a woman. You you get a better understanding of okay, so how do I how do I fit with this person? Right? There's a dynamic and it, it only works a certain way. Right? So, you know, men should really focus on themselves, building themselves in the beginning, and then bring the woman in. Women should definitely work on being wise, right? 
do whatever you want with your career. Have a career as well, but don't forget to work on yourself on being a wife. Because if you wait till way later on in your life, you're 30 something, and that's when you want to learn how to be a wife, it's too late, right? Somebody should have taught you how to be a wife very early on in your life, right? That's, that's, that's my opinion. But let's keep going here. I think I've spoken enough. Let's keep going. And basically, she goes on to say how a guy can be a good guy, but not the right guy. But here is my thought process. Okay, first of all, you knew that from the beginning and you're not upfront or you c did you communicate that? You wasted 10 years of this man's life where he could have gone out and found someone who appreciated him. But additionally, now it's 10 years later. If she was 21, she's 31 now. So now she's a single mom at 31. Yeah. And the grass and is always greener. she's about to greener. go on the dating scene and she thinks that's going to be better and that there's good guys still left out there. Yeah. But this is also what I talk about on this page about these women. They ruin the good guys because now this man is going to go get his heart <laughs> broken and never be the same yeah. ever again. All because she knew from the beginning and couldn't be upfront about it. He's going to think all women are like, the same. How, Sick and twisted you have to be to make a man a placeholder and have children with him and so many women in the comments right now was like oh this is exactly my situation i've been married for 11 years and he's such a good guy and you know but he's not for me y'all need to stop listening to shitty advice on on the internet like that and go into therapy and fight for your marriages and fight for the good men there that are out there because i can promise you that the dating scene is not any better but not only that this man is about to get all his shit wrecked when she already knew from the beginning that he wasn't the one in divorce he's about to lose half and who knows his visitation you know how a lot of women can be with the visitation of their children. And as soon as they're pissed, they give the silent treatment. There's so many things that could happen in divorce that what she didn't consider in the first place. Just despicable. Are you more likely to see black men yeah. dating white women or? Yeah, more. that's she she nailed it. That she definitely nailed it. Right. It, the things that. You know, women take some women take seriously should not be taken seriously at all <laughs> but it, it, it's okay like it's as a man you just have to know how to navigate around those things but you know they, they this whole phase that everyone's talking about i gotta go through a whole phase why like <laughs> it, it it does more damage to you than than it than it helps you why would you want to why would you want to live that way and then you get into you know so now she's going to destroy her marriage just so she can go backwards into a whole phase and then what live alone for the rest of her life because that's that's a possibility let's keep going black men dating white women or white men dating black women you see black men dating white women all the time you don't see white men dating black women all the time so mm. black men dating white women and why is that um to be honest i'm not really quite sure mm. that's just what i i feel like they might be intimidated by us black women intimidated so they might do another yeah. race i don't see myself dating a white guy nothing against his race but it's more about like my bloodline and keeping it pure and black and mm -hmm. maybe if i want to have children I want my children to be black. Nothing yeah. against like skin color, race, nothing. Right, right, right. No, no, for sure. Um, yeah, the not, nothing wrong with what what these uh, these women are saying. Nothing wrong at all. Date whoever you want. If you want to date black, date black. If you want to date white, go ahead and date white. But I think what the interviewer was trying to get at was that, <laughs> yeah who's who's the problem <laughs> is it black women that are the problem or is it black men that are the problem how is it that if if black men are the problem they're the prize in in other races or two other races but the black woman isn't hmm i'm gonna pause right there okay <laughs> and we will uh 
we'll get on to the next video. Hey, come back for more content. Check me out. And uh, don't forget to like and subscribe, this subscribe to this channel. And uh, catch me in the next video. Take it easy. And peace out. Okay, I'm reloaded.